please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Installing Python on Mac OS 10.5, Leopard, can be a bit challenging because it's an older operating system, and Python has evolved since then. However, if you need to install Python on an older Mac running OS X 10.5, this tutorial will guide you through the process. Please note that support for Python 2.7 has ended, so it's recommended to install Python 3.7 or later if possible. Here are the steps to install Python on OS X 10.5 while matching the directory layout. Step 1, check your Mac OS version. Before you begin, confirm that your Mac is running OS X 10.5. You can do this by clicking the Apple menu in the top left corner of your screen and selecting About This Mac. Step 2, Download Python. Since Python 2.7 was available during the OS X 10.5 era, we'll install that version. Python 2.7 is not recommended for new projects due to its end of life, but it may be necessary for legacy applications. Go to the Python 2.7 downloads page, https colon slash slash www.python.org slash download slash release slash python hyphen 2718. Download the Mac OS 64 bit slash 32 bit installer package. At the time of writing, the latest version is Python February 7th, 18. Step 3, Install Python. Double-click the downloaded package to open it. You'll see a window with the Python installer. Follow the installation instructions. Make sure to check the box that says Install for all users if available. The installer will prompt you for your password. Enter it to allow the installation. Python 2.7 should now be installed on your Mac. You can verify this by opening terminal and typing. It should display the Python version, example Python February 7, 18. Step 4, Check Directory Layout. To match the directory layout of OS X 10.5, you can create a virtual environment for your Python projects. This isolates your project dependencies and keeps your system Python separate. Here's how. Open Terminal. Create a directory for your Python projects if you don't already have one. Create a virtual environment for your project. Replace MyEnv with your desired environment name. Activate the virtual environment. Your command prompt should change to indicate that you are now in the virtual environment. You can now install packages and work on your Python projects within this virtual environment. Step 5, Deactivate the virtual environment. To deactivate the virtual environment and return to your system Python, simply run. Step 6, Upgrade PIP, optional. You may want to upgrade the PIP tool inside your virtual environment to the latest version. This ensures that you have an up-to-date package manager for your Python projects. That's it. You've installed Python on OS X 10.5 while matching the directory layout and created a virtual environment for your Python projects. Remember that Python 2.7 is no longer supported, so consider updating your code base to a more recent Python version if possible. ChatGPT